Okay, so welcome. Um, this is just a little program that I've found. Um, as I was sort of, so I just, I actually am I'm working. I just got the, a new um, MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 chip. And so far it's been really great. Part of the reason that I wanted to try it out was I saw that um, Rhino 7 was available in on the new M1 chips and everything actually seems to be working um, super well. Um, I, you know, I also, one of the other things I like to do on laptops is just work on, um, work on photos and edit photos in Lightroom. Um, but as you can see, kind of opening up Lightroom and you'll also notice how quickly Lightroom started up, which was, uh, you know, like usually I feel like it's like a 30 second rigmarole, but this opened up really quickly. Um, but part of the problem here is that the viewable area for like in, if you go to your develop se section, the, the area that you're previewing your photo and working on your photo is like ridiculously small. And the sort of area for toggling is like way too big. Um, and the standard way that, you know, I would deal with this is going to your display options and preferences, going to scaled and then asking for more space. So you get a little more space here. Um, and this is one way of going about it. And obviously you're getting a little more space to work with, with um, you know, you're sort of scaling your UI, um, well, scaling up your display, but, and so your controls are getting a little smaller. Um, but for me on a 13 inch, still a little bit small, I'm coming from a 15 inch. Um, I made the decision to go to a smaller screen. Uh, I, I think it was the right decision, um, especially for the sort of, you know, power and battery life and, you know, all, all, all kinds of different things that led me to the conclusion that a 13 inch might be better. Um, but I was realizing that, you know, this, this more space is actually, uh, not a whole lot more space. Uh, I, I really would prefer a further scale. Um, and I was doing a little research and it seems like there is not a particularly obvious solution, but I was digging around and found this amazing um, plugin and I just tweeted about it. Um, it's by or from Avi Brazil uh, and it's called RDM and I'll just open it up. You get, it takes you to a GitHub page. Um, and here's all the, all the um, you know, source material. Basically, this is a tool that allows you to really take advantage tells you this is a tool that lets you use MacBook Pro's Retina's highest and unsupported resolutions. As an example, a Retina MacBook Pro 13 inch can be set to 3360 by 2100 maximum resolution as opposed to Apple's max, right? So this is what it does. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, um, you can install it. Uh, it's telling you you're going to have to update your security um, preferences. So if you go to privacy and security, um, and then go to general. Once you try and um, install it, you can just click, something will show up here and you'll be able to say, you know, allow the developer because this, this developer is an unauthorized Apple developer. Um, so once, that, once that's installed, you can just go ahead and search RDM. RDM will open up here. And so I, I guess sounds like uh, maybe they're working on a 15 inch or you no. Know, or maybe the, I guess the screen resolution has actually uh, gotten worse on the newer MacBook Pros, which is, which is actually fine by me. I don't miss so much, but here now you can really, you can basically just start to um, change your resolution. So we can go up, which is horrible. And I shouldn't have done that because now I uh, can't see plugin anymore. This is another problem. Uh, but so we can change it up to like uh, 28, uh, 2048 by whatever the um, vertical is. This resolution seems a little bit off to me. I think there's some sort of strange artifact thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the recording, but like um, just like oh, it's losing a, a little bit of crispness, a little bit of sharpness. Um, so I'm just going to take it all the way up. And, you know, honestly, for me, I, I know this looks like kind of incredibly small and especially on a 13 inch, it does look small. Um, but really I would prefer, so now, you know, this is, I guess this is not what it used to be. This was the even smaller one that I did, but now let's just go full screen here. 
you can see that now actually we have a ton of space to work um, and our sort of peripheral, our tools on the side of our, are much, much smaller. Um, and the same is true for Lightroom. So um, it's full size. So now, you know, for me, this is like super workable. Uh, it might, you know, it might not uh, be ideal for you, but I prefer to have more space um, to see what I'm working on with the sort of peripheral, um, you know, uh, tools and whatever else toolbars on the side uh, really kind of fade away and be extra small. Um, and so this this is seemed like the best way to do it. Um, shout out to RDM. This is a really wonderful, wonderful program released in 2016 and has not been changed. Um, I, I downloaded the 2.2, um, the V2.2. Uh, I'll just go back here. Um, if you go here, it'll take you to just this uh, host website and you can download uh, uh, whichever one. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, and enjoy your all, all of your new uh, screen real estate on your uh, on your new MacBook Pro.